Hey everybody. Happy Sunday. It is a glorious, glorious afternoon in Nebraska and I'm gonna take every bit of advantage of it uh, today. My goal was to get the pond or waterfall up and running and plant my cannas and get my trench dug for my line for my heater in my garage. And I'm almost done. So I'm gonna take you through the garden and show you what I'm doing right now. Um, this is my garden buddy right here. This is Yoshi, yes, he has to help. But here's the trench that I dug today. It was bananas. And uh, the crocus are blooming, yay! I have some, and the uh, Autumn Joy Sedum are coming up. I need to trim back my rose bushes. And what I'll do is, see that little red bud right there, or little red shoot? I will cut back to that, and I'll cut at an angle so they grow out from the plant instead of into the center. And we have some surprise lilies. I know those are surprise lilies. I have to clean out my dry creek bed. The barberries are having buds. There's the purple crocus. I love them. They're my favorite. And I forgot the star flowers. I have a few of those. Um, my grasses are kind of coming. The daylilies are starting to shoot. Um, columbine. Columbine are coming. Yes, I'm so excited. More daylilies. Um, I enjoy seeing them. There's some tulips. Uh, there is a variegated iris. Some more columbine. And yep, I use eggshells and um, coffee grounds out here. I need to clean some things out, but right now, today, I'm just kind of focused on um, other things. There is a corbel. Some corbels are coming in. Uh, daffodils. Daffodils are coming up nicely. A tulip. Crocus. There's a purple crocus. These are all daffodils. Coming up nicely. I'm so excited, finally. Oh my gosh, with all this being closed up, it's so nice to come outside. There's a there's a mix with yellow and purple. Awesome. I need a, this one needs some work. I, uh, there's my um, Siberian iris coming. Uh, not much going on back here yet. Uh, oh, there's the, oh, I never remember what that is, but the peonies should be coming. Yep, there they are. There they are right there, that little red shoot right there. But I'm not gonna, I'm, I kinda am leery about cleaning things out too early here in Nebraska because we can still have, I seriously think there's some Columbine. Um, I will trim this mum down, it's time. It's okay to do that now. Some, there's the daylily starting. But I will, um, yes, we've had snowstorms and it's almost like ice storms, the hen and chicks, um, in May, like early May. Um, I always remember during graduation, here's my shovel. I got sidetracked. Here's the can of bulbs I'm putting in. Putting them in. And I put them in just so this guy is just below the surface. I lost a little tree here, so I'm gonna put him in there for now until I can order a replacement in the fall because it's best to plant trees and shrubs in the fall. This Larry is usually really neat. It's got um, purple tulips and yellow daffodils kind of in the mixture. It's kind of neat right there. And daylilies, more daylilies. Look at my Carl Forrester grass is coming up. So excited. Um, yes, I. it's kind of a mess back here because I just, just got my pond going today. Yes, I have my fake fish in there today. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm debating whether, whether to get real ones this year. I don't know, but we got the pond up and running. 
And so everything's kind of looks disheveled back here because I threw the water that had sat in there over winter out. Um, was pretty a mess. Yes, I will rake all these leaves out because not yet. I'm, I might wait a couple more weeks yet. Um, I'm just, uh, would, it, it would give everything a boost if I uncover everything. But then if we get as hard snow or a late spring snow, yes, things would, I don't think they would die. They would get bit pretty good. And um, you would show it, it would show in the foliage and would not look the best. So my tiger eye sumac is getting ready. You see how velvety that is? It is really the coolest, coolest tree. And it's not as invasive as the, I want to say the rumus, R-H-U-M-U-S. Uh, I could be spelling that wrong. Um, but you see that all in the ditches around here. It's very invasive, but this one isn't that bad at all. It's very manageable and it's very pretty. It's a, a floret, almost like a flow lime in the spring. And then towards fall, it starts turning an orange, an orangey peach color. It's very, very pretty. My red bud, my red buds are budding out. Let's see if I can see any, any bud buds. I see them. I just, uh, They're getting there. Like I said, it's kind of early yet. Um, there's my Korean maple. My flags that I mark the uh, cone flowers in, which I'll be moving since this gets a lot of um, shade. I There's some tulips back there, but I put my cannas in there to kind of hide the, the ugly window that I need to fix and the side of the garage, but I get excited. I, t I tied this up because I need to, had to dig that up. Like I said, I'm not quite ready to remove all this stuff yet. Maybe in a couple of weeks, like I said, this is a Korean viburnum and the flowers on it smell amazing. Just very, very cool. So I'm going to walk over here and show you guys what else I'll be planning. I'm putting in my so-called tropicals right now. Since we, it, it's safe enough, it's not going to, the ground is not going to freeze. So my cannas, including my elephant ears and my dahlias, will be going in. I might have some surprises of something else in there. Who knows? I always... I think that's some more elephant ears. These might be some special, um, special cannas. Sorry, I wasn't shining the, the, uh, um, the light on there. And I need to find, I have a, oh, I forgot to show you this side. Um, this, flower bed. It's coming along. I need to cut that grass back. Um, sweet autumn clematis right there. These are budding out. Here's all my ground cover. My sedums. Um, I have hibiscus there. Uh, here. And there. And I think there's one or two behind. Um, I think I have an almond shrub. I can't remember where the other one is. And I have Miscanthus zebra grass growing back here. It's really cool. These tulips are coming along nicely. This is Angelina um, sedum. I love the bright color. It's amazing. My Carl Forrester grass is coming along great. Um, look at this little guy. Is he not cute? Little crocus. But there we have it. I have to find my bulb because I have a banana, banana plant. And I usually put that, since I lost my Alaskan cedar here by the bridge, I usually put my banana plant there so it grows up um, right here. So it grows up and fills that area where that 
that uh, tree used to be. It's a nice filler and it grows very fast, very, very fast. So thanks again, guys. This is Garden Talk with Shannon Olson from Nana's Workshop. And that's what's going on so far in the garden. Talk to you next time. Bye.